Hey there everybody, uh, this is Star 4 Destroyer here and in today's video I'm going to be trying out my new uh, content I was thinking about doing which is reacting to low cow uh, compilations and videos and all kinds of stuff like that and today we're going to be looking at uh, the cringiest Nova Online Moments Part 2. This is by uh, the YouTuber, was that, K777NY. Uh, go give them a follow and subscribe to them if you want to see more of the videos. I'm just going to be reacting to the clips that they've gathered and see how cringy Nova is when you actually sit down and look at them. Because I've only really experienced Nova Online through other YouTube videos like um, uh, Saturated Content, uh, Kiwi Tapes, uh, Smokey MCC. Um, Nick Nobody, you know, people like that, uh, Underflow, um, all those guys, and they're actually able to um, condense down, and Leap and Lemur, uh, Senior Chinchilla, all those guys, they're able to condense down the unwatchable stuff into watchable content that is easy to absorb, but I've never actually, like, sat down and you know looked at their just live streams or the videos because i just don't have it in me so now i'm gonna try and actually see what happens all right here we go fuck off jesus and yes i said the f word fucking bitch my fucking uncle again no i'm not okay <laughs> all right this dude's like edgelord to the stars you know like he's very um didn't grow out of that like edgelord high school phase you know like very very greasy guy he's a very greasy man and if you're complaining about you know i'm picking on this guy or whatever just know this guy's a, a predator a pdf file as the internet calls them to skip or skirt uh, um, copyright claims or the algorithm taking down videos he is uh, into children you know and will almost always say that he's not but it has been proven that he is so I feel as though we are free to make fun of this man alright okay let me just fix this there we go alright my uncle yelling at me for no fucking reason again. Blocking my uncle is literally mm. the equivalent to a death sentence. He hates being ignored. Fucking bitch. He's so angry. He's so, so angry, man. It's hilarious. I'm sorry that my uncle just fucking yelled at me for no fucking reason. Relax, it's okay, Nova. It's all part of the reason I turned fucking emo. Nova bringing up Tofia on his live stream. Can you stop comparing me to Tofia? I don't want to talk about her anymore. Those two, Tofia Chu, if you don't know, she's kind of like Nova in the same way, but just a female version. And uh, I think uh, their last name is Slidell, I believe. And. They are a crazy family in and of themselves, Tofia Chu, but her father, Papa Chu, is really the one that needs to be looked at. I think he just got out of prison. Um, he got arrested for a kidnapping charge or something, I think. I, I forget. The less fuel I bring to the fire, the, le the, more, the, the more likely the rivalry will end. And even though a lot of videos of me have gone viral dissing Tofia, I don't want to talk about her anymore. I don't want to start a rivalry with Leslard, that's for sure. On this episode of My Not Even 300 Pounds Life. Yeah, like, I'm so not in the, uh, locale zeitgeist of these people. Like, I don't know who is beefing with who i only know like the heavy hitters like uh cyrax and daniel larson and um <laughs> earl doobie uh nova there's a lot of new ones um ian foot i did a video on him uh i think a day or two ago you should go check that out um 
but I don't know who when they name drop like these new people like I don't know who these new people are that he's name dropping I weighed myself earlier and I was 271 not bad 271 hey he weighs less than me oh boy I need to I need to get the, I need to get it uh I need to get my act together I'm out here weighing more than Nova bad uh, he is 5'3", though, so I've kind of got that on him. I'm like 5'11", 6 foot if I stretch in the morning, but... Ooh, being 5'3", and 271, that's rough. That's pretty rough. That's... That's a big hurdle to get across, if you can even make it over it, you know. Yeah, like, he, he's doing, like, the things you would do back in high school. I don't I forget how old he is. I don't think he's that old. I think he's pretty young. Um, but he's doing, like, the, you know, the fishing rod, middle finger, to just the ether. You know, he's yelling into the ether. And he needs to be yelling at his barber, honestly, with this freaking, he's about to have a unibrow. And, I like, you know what? You give me maybe three months with Nova... I think I could turn him around. I think I could, you know, make his life significantly better than what it is now. Maybe. Don't quote me on that, but maybe. Sage 120. Go. Quick. Got like no time. Yo, let's go! Let's go. Let's go. Nick 830 vibes over here. Oh, fuck! Link, link. Howdy, howdy, motherfucking howdy. No swearing, though. Guys, join the kick. It's Nova Online. I now have 102 viewers. I like how he's got, like, the, the fan, you know, majestically blowing his hair in the wind. You know, his real uh, anime, anime opening uh, style of uh, video recording is really... It's a very niche market. I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to get that that anime audience. I understand. I understand the hustle, bro. I get it. I don't know though if he's recording his gameplay too or just live streaming on, on TikTok. It looks like it. Uh, if he has a separate, you know recording because if not then this is pointless you know like if he's because uh, he I don't know like he doesn't have a headset on but he does have the mic there so I guess he's I don't know I'm not going to try to understand his setup whatever he's doing obviously it's working he's got like 651 viewers on TikTok and 100 on kick or whatever which is like a billion times more than anything I've ever gotten so I'm not even going to like knock his hustle or anything. He's doing something right, obviously. Hold up, I think someone's stream sniping. You think somebody's stream sniping you? Halfway through the game? Yeah. Half, yeah, halfway through the game you think somebody's stream sniping. Hey, how many viewers do you have? 87 right now. I don't think anybody's stream sniping you, bro. Alright. I think something crazy is about to happen. First time attempting a deadlift. Oh, with the three? Is that to protect, like, the... The, uh... Sensors on the internet? I hate I hate when you have to censor yourself. You know, you can't say, you know... Chop suey. You know, the real... Blah, blah, blah. It's kind of dumb, because it's just words. I don't know. Nova cannot deadlift. I don't think he can either. I mean, I don't. I get it. He's a big boy. I'm a big boy too. But like, these pants are way too tight. I mean, I'll give him props for just having the confidence to do this. You know, I think anyone anyone who sets up their camera in a gym has way more confidence than I'll ever have in my life because I cannot ever see myself. Uh, needing to record myself I don't think I'm that important to, to be needing to film uh, what I'm doing in the gym I'm 
his pina is just being brandished to everyone in that gym. I'm very confused on what's happening right now. Like, I'm very um, confused on what's happening because he's just picking up the, what's the names, right? Like, he's just, yeah, yeah, he's just picking up the the bar and just putting it back down he's not unless he's like getting a feel for it you know like kind of like getting a feel for it i think that might be what he's doing okay yeah so I, I guess he was just getting a feel for it and now he's actually gonna do the lift oh boy whoops Dog shit for him. Dog shit. You're gonna fucking hurt your back. You're gonna tear your back up, bro. You're gonna. You're gonna chop it up. You're just. You're crushing your nuts. You're like rolling, roller pinning your freaking sack, dude. Don't do it. What? That was it? Hold on. How many did you do? One. All back. Two. It just did two. All back. All back and crushing his balls. Just all back and crushing his balls. I wouldn't recommend that. Look at that. Poor placement. Look at it. It's such, this is like a 22 degree angle putting it back. You're going to hurt yourself, dude. Don't do it. Poof. What a profile. Man. Man, oh man. I know that feeling, bro. I'm there with you. I'm there with you, dog. That's I've got the I've got the same kind of profile. Boy oh boy. Kind of puts things into perspective, huh? <laughs> Hit the showers, bro. Hit the showers. You've earned it. Boom. I'm at my breaking point. Your effing trolls who have nothing else better to do. He looks like um, uh, Jack Black in the Kickapoo music video. The young Jack Black. Like the kid of Kickapoo. You know, the music video. If you haven't seen it, you should look it up. It looks just like him. It's pretty funny. I think he could have real talent in like a Pick of Destiny, you know, sequel movie where it's just uh, him as a kid, you know, like those um, uh, a midquel is what they call it, where it's a sequel to the movie, but it's set in the past before the events of the first movie. I think he'd have a really good. Um, Good shot at being uh, Jack Black's uh, child star, whatever. That'll show him. That'll show him. Yeah, see, nice unibrow, bro. That's probably why he flipped him off. But yeah, he's got a, a wild unibrow. Like, it's, it's pretty crazy. Like just take a razor blade or something, some clippers, and just uh, clean it up, bro. That's it. You'll be fine. He looks like uh, what was it Tammy Slayton, six hundred pound sisters, four thousand pound sisters, thousand pound sisters. He looks like Tammy Slayton. Like he's getting there. Like his fat is gonna figure out that it has space in his forehead to go there. 
and once his uh body figures out they can store fat in his forehead he's gonna be toast he's not gonna he's not gonna recover from that i don't think so you guys have anything else better to do than check out your fat asses and eat hot dogs and cars! Hey y'all, it's Jane Oliver Cadre. See, he's got like the his hair blowing in the wind. He's like the uh, anime pro tag, you know, and about to address his people on the the rocky cliffs of the morning sun, you know, uh, with the waves crashing around him and his um, what do they call that? His bathrobe, but that's like his kimono, you know, his samurai kimono, you know, very. Very artistic. Keep calm and carry on back there. I think he's American, but he's got the British slang on there. But it's a cool logo, cool slogan, so I can't fault him on that. Xbox paraphernalia in the background. He's an Xbox bro for sure. I uh, don't think he would last in the 360 days. I didn't last in the 360 days. I was a PS3 kid, so, you know, it's because I didn't have any friends. <laughs> Solo games for me. So, I just wanted to address something said in last night's video. Well, it's just kind of like a follow-up to that video, I should say. But, um, I'm still not doing the best that I was in that video, but the friend that I ended up fighting with, we, it seems like we've made up. He's got a lot of hair and not a lot of hair at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's got, he's got the length. But not the volume you know and i think if he just covered his hair or his face a little bit more kind of hide the roundness i it sucks he can't grow a beard because my beard is doing wonders for me um it definitely hides my round face you know yeah just i'm telling you give me three months with this guy and he'll be fine maybe i will have to fight these allegations though We'll have to turn your life around, but, you know, you can't just be yelling into the ether, hoping that, you know, it'll solve all your problems, bro. But, um, as I said, I'm going to be a lot more careful. Oh, shit, stop taking my mess. But, um, anyways, I'm still not feeling the best, but I am feeling better than I did, um, when I was really feeling down I just thought you guys would want to know cuz I've gotten tens of emails asking if I'm okay and you can still reach out to me if you feel like get my emails in the last who the f email who the f I'm trying not to curse who the flippity flim flam is sending emails out to see if people are alright I mean, I guess, I mean, he does have a sizable following, so it probably, it probably clutters up his other social media is trying to reach out to see who's like actually trolls or actually trying to actually, you know, uh, talk to him in a certain way that is constructive, but I don't, he doesn't like somebody who can take constructive criticism at all. Like, I don't think, I don't think that he's a constructive criticism kind of guy video i just thought you guys would want to follow in uh, a follow-up update anyways it's time for me to take my meds nobody universe signing off i definitely did not forget to film the intro at the gas station but how good are gas station showers let's find out what was he at loves loves is i i've in my work outside of youtube I've come, I've gone to a Loves a few times, and when I first discovered Loves, it was probably three, four, three, no, like five years ago. Loves is not bad. Loves, it's like uh, for my northeasters, my east coast northerners, uh, it's like Wawa with showers and like, no, it's like Wawa mixed with like. Um, 
you get like trucker stuff there too it's it's meant for truckers it's a trucker place so you can buy like they have like uh safety clothes and like toys and like stuffed animals and like uh roadside assistance plus a lot of food but it's meant for like truckers who can't i look at it as last minute shopping stuff you know you're trying to make it home for christmas or your kid's birthday so you got to stop to get gas take a shower you see like a stuffed bear or something or some kind of porcelain little trinkets for the missus or the misters before you get home it's it's stuff like that it's not bad and the one i went to it's attached to a, a wendy's so that means wendy's is open 24 7 there which is pretty sweet I've never used the showers though. The bathrooms are pretty clean and they have the stall doors that go all the way to the ground and are completely like shut on, on the side so you can't like peek through which should be standard in like every freaking bathroom in the country. I don't understand why we're like the last ones to like get on board with this. It's insane. Oh. Awkward fail. Damn it. Okay, that chart was pretty awkward, but I got in. So, I, yes, I did see, I did see uh, Shoko Show do this. So, um, we're going to test how good these showers actually are. Because I want to prove to you guys that I do shower. So, it looks like... Alright, so, yeah, I was right. 100% loves. I just saw from the cup. So, the fact that he has to prove to, like, the masses that he showers is a red flag, bro. We're already in the red talking about your image here i'll have to work with that with you because if people are already saying you don't shower and you have to prove to them that you shower but if you're taking a shower then you're pretty screwed uh but i think we still can get you through it bro don't worry we'll get you it's like they do give you soap and fresh towels as well Go they give you your own towel i wouldn't trust you on my uh, little word spinach I wouldn't trust a towel that they gave me, you know, like I would just bring my own towel and my own like toothbrush and washcloth and everything. Oh, I wonder if he uses washcloths. Does he use washcloths? Oh, close it again. Go ahead and test the water pressure. See, decent pressure on the water. Just like motel washer. Alright, I'm gonna go take a shower. I'll be right back. Oh my god. That felt so refreshing. I also like the fact that there's a fan here so I can just dry off a lot faster and it feels so amazing. Now. Bro is sitting there butt booty naked, air drying. And I respect that. That's some king shit right there. That's some, uh,. High level, high level etiquette right there. That's I think everybody should experience that once in their life. Just a an air dry with a with an industrial size fan, you know, and in, in a and a truck stop bathroom. The million dollar question. Y'all are probably asking how much I pay for the shower, and the answer is eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars for a shower. I'd round it up to 20 bucks. Huh. I don't know. Do you keep the towel, though? That's... That's what I would want to know. If you get to keep the towel. Because if you can't keep the towel, then... It's not worth 18 bucks for some hot water. You could just bird bath it up. But the views this video will get, and the views from all my other videos, will more than make up for it. So now let me share my final thoughts. Eighteen dollars. I do think it is a bit steep. Also, this guy has like a diaper fetish with children. He's been caught multiple times on Discord um, doing like diaper play, um, age regression stuff with like minors, like 12, 13, 14 years old. Um, so another reason that you should not feel bad that I'm dogging on this man, or just giving constructive and non-constructive criticism. Just a little uh, FYI for you people. All right. But hey, I do think that if you need a shower in a pinch, it's worth it. And plus, that shower is much better than the one I have at home, so for sure. 
I definitely didn't. Am I alive? Alright, hold up, buddy. So, we're gonna talk about this. You can't just... You gotta get... I don't, I don't know. Usually, I get it. You know, you wanna get like one of those fake or like those cool impromptu live streams or whatever. We're like, oh my god, I can't believe I went live. But it's like... In order for you to get out of this funk, dude, you've got to break through the cringe. And I don't know, usually with guys, you know, from my own personal experience, you usually can evolve out of cringe after the age of, like, 20. Not even that. You know what? No, that's too far. 17. High school. You leave cringe behind in high school. You know, you, you try to... Uh, I don't even know how to put it. It's just like you're still trying to figure yourself out, you know, and I get he's young still, but it's like, dude, like leave the cringe behind. You didn't accidentally go live, you know, it's like you're begging for attention. You had the attention already on you. You don't need beg more attention. If you want to go live, dude, just go live, man. You don't have to pretend to go live for people to be like oh, oh nova he's so funny and quirky like you don't don't try to pretend to be quirky you either are or you're not you know it's got to be natural this is very unnatural of you to be doing nova like come on buddy oh fuck i sleep for most of the day and this is what happens Okay, so one more thing. Saying the acronyms of words like text chat, like FML, LOL, LMAFAO, like don't do that. No one no one talks like that in real life, buddy. Like no one actually says those words in natural speak and if you do we need to fix this i'm gonna work with you buddy but you gotta trust me don't be using acronyms in daily speak it don't sound as cool as you think it does man it sounds awful boy oh boy normally with these i cool down real quick and it's over at this point, I'm just starting to not give a fuck about anything. I am under a fucking trust no one policy. I don't trust anyone. Not even family. I don't give a fuck anymore. It's my fucking uncle. That's all you need to fucking know. There. You happy now? Will it be okay though? I may not like my uncle, but he's family. My, it's, <laughs> it's my uncle. Nova performs. It's oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, hold on. Yeah, there's something weird about like Nova and his uncle. I don't know. Like you, he can badmouth him, but like nobody else can. I don't know. But yeah, Nova does like karaoke stuff, and I, I have to give him credit for that. That takes a lot of guts, man. So I, I he's, he's such this. He's 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 such a. Uh, let me get. Let me get close on the mic here. He's such a paradox when it comes to, like, what he wants to do. Right? Because he's cringe, but he has enough confidence to do karaoke. And, you know, that takes a lot of confidence, you know? Especially because he doesn't drink. So he's not even using alcohol as, like, a um, self-esteem booster. This is just him. Like, he's just on all the time. So, like, I understand it. That's pretty pretty ballsy but then again it's like you took that up that i don't even know the the endless possibilities you had in life you took it and you made this you made that now what now what are you gonna do with it it's
Yeah, okay, so like he's got potential. Like I don't know if they were I don't know if they were laughing with him or at him. I hope they're laughing with him, but it's because they don't know who he is. But obviously it's in a camp setting, so they're encouraging everybody to like get out of their shells and do everything, but I don't know. I don't have enough information for that. But this he goes to the gym again and I, again he's so I don't know. I never get with the people being so self important that they need to um you know, I'm, I'm going to take that back. You know, it's not even about a self-importance. It's, you could be just trying to work on your form, you know, and improve yourself. But I, it just, I don't know. I'm, I'm too shy of a person to be trying to, um, I don't know, set up. I, I, I'm too awkward. I, I would, I don't know. Anyway, let's see what he does. Ghost of the gym. Don't put anything around your neck at the gym, bro. You're just asking. You need to tie, tie your hair up, you know. Get looser fitting clothes. And I'm not saying that to be like, you know, fat shame or whatever. Because when I go to the gym, looser fitting clothes, I'm not, you know, being self-conscious or whatever about your weight. I'm not constantly trying to, you know, just pull my shirt down or pull my pants up or whatever. Just wear like loose fitting clothes. Like your shirt is too tight. You're, you're going to be your, your gains. Are, are, are gonna destroy your shirt, buddy. You can't be doing that. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, your gut's just out, dude. Like, oh, man. Hey, you're, you see, you see, you're, see, you're, you're, com you're, com you're compromised, buddy. You're compromised. You're compromised. You, this is you. You're not even sitting on the bench. You got to straighten, straighten that that motherfucking back out. Plant both of your feet firmly on the ground. You know. <sighs> I think he's just lifting the bar, which is fine. That's very fine for beginners to lift the bar, just itself. Cause I think the bar is like 15 pounds anyway. So horrible for him. Say this is why he's on like an angle. See that angle? You don't want to be on that angle. You don't want to be there. That's why, like, it's the bar. Yeah. yeah you see how high he put that back? I I'm not even a fitness channel. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't even bench press anything. But, I, you know, you can, you can look at something and see how wrong it is, even though you've never done it. Brother, ura, ura, brother. Yes, those sexy gains, brother. They're gonna lunk. They're gonna lunk alert you, dude. Oh, this is a planet, so they're not gonna lunk alert you. But you're not lifting anything crazy to be grunting like that. That's just. That's just. That's just uh, excess energy that you're exerting that you don't need to be. Wait, was that sped up? Hold on. He did like five, and I was sped up, and it was like no weight. He's all over the place today. He's doing a full body workout. He's gonna be sore AF in the morning, man. You can't be, you can't be full body working it out in like your first week, man. Like, oh man, and he's live streaming it. I don't understand live streaming your gym workout, dude. You're. Mm. Yeah, like, get your hair out of your face. I get you're trying to look cute, you know, for your no vines or whatever you call them. I mean, he's got 859 people. Like, I'm just mad because I don't get any views on anything I post out, but it's whatever. 
But it's like, I don't know. Uh, don't go to the gym for an act if you're serious about it. Like, you got your hair down and your face, you know, you're trying to look cool and whatever. You got your unibrow on fleek. I don't know if kids still say that nowadays. It's on point, on fleek. I'm fitting a crash out, whatever whatever the the language is. But, look, he's gay. Get it, daddy. Don't like this angle. Yeah, it's a bad angle. It's a pretty bad angle. I would change the angles up. This is This is a this is is this is an angle. This is a sight. This is a sight, man. You should just lift it up a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody said recoil. I, I missed it. They said recoil go crazy. Yeah, that recoil is crazy, bro. You're yeah, you're bouncing all over the place, bro. I hate the bikes. I hate the bikes. I hate the bikes. I hate the bikes. And I'll say it one more time. I hate the bikes at the gym. They are the worst. My gut will not allow me to sit in it properly to get a full workout. And my legs are too long. Like I'm, I'm too crushed in those. <laughs> You leaving, bro? Mountain Dew. You better not be drinking Mountain Dew. I have no notes. I have no notes on that. I just just continue. Nova haters. It's not over yet. You've got the power. I'm mad I have that shirt. That um this Goku. The Goku versus the Ginyu Force shirt. I have this shirt. It's in a drawer somewhere. I know that I've had to come to the realization that a lot of these people that I look at like Cyrax and Nova and them, they ha I have a lot of shirts that they have. My kids have a lot of shirts that they wear. And it's two sides of the coin, man. Like, for every normal person that watches anime, you get one of these guys that doesn't know how to differentiate, you know, real life from fiction. And I don't know. I'm just glad I got out of this. I ne well, I'm not got out of it. I'm glad I never went down this path because this is a dark path to be going down, man. And I get it. Some of us are dealt pretty bad hands in life but you can't let that be an excuse to be acting crazy online man i don't know or of usada pakora on our side we will prevail we have your bro just spoke in tongues what did he say usada pakora on our side we will prevail. i don't know who that is god on our side screw all the i, I have the power of god and anime on my side nova haters Boy, oh boy, I'm literally so pissed. I fucking broke character in this TikTok. What flag is that? Is that France? No, get your part game on, bro. Like your part is way too over there. <sighs> Jesus, I'm. All right. What? Where'd he break character at? That was just him. He didn't bring any character. That was just him. <laughs> hey, y'all. Still alive. Although... Oh, my, my hero? No. What? What? Hey, y'all. I'm still alive. Even though MMH is shite, I feel like bringing back the revenge arc right now. But I'll prevent it 
from happening before I have to go back to that dark hellhole. MMH. MMH. What is MMH? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Some of you might know recently that I re- I got a new mic to replace my shitty Five Line A6T, the Toner TC30. There is a more in-depth review. Oh, Mr. Fancy Mike, you want to know what this mic is? Let's see if I can. Where's it say that? Right there. This is a. This is a yeah. This is a rock band mic. All right, I got no fancy. No fancy uh, mucro- microphones, you know. I have one somewhere. Here. It's a snowball, but I lost the cord for it, so. I'm gonna find it eventually, but. This works just fine. This is an old Logitech. On my alternate account. So, here's five reasons why I think this toner mic is better than my Firefly A6T. So some of you may know that I snapped the windscreen off of the Five Fine A6T because of its cheap a- because of its cheap ass plastic that it was using. This toner, this windscreen is thick and the bar is made of metal. This ain't snapping off. Two, the way it adjusts is actually pretty interesting. Uh, you just push this mic. I feel bad. Um, I don't know. Cause he's got a lisp, like he he he's got a, like a crazy lisp, you know, and I know sometimes you know you go to school, you have like speech therapy, and they kind of work with you, but some people it's like too strong to remove the lisp, and I just feel like the lisp is really holding him back, like it's really getting in the way of how bright this Nova can shine. It's unfortunate mic in or out it's definitely a unique way to adjust the depth of the microphone from the windscreen three it takes up a whole lot less space son of a no oh my god i got scared i thought we had the same keyboard i i was gonna get really scared but no we we have different keyboards and i'm very glad for that on my computer oh and what's that a mic Oh God! Come much cleaner floor. That's much cleaner. Much cleaner floor. Your floor. Where are you at? Are you in a basement, bro? Do you need help? Like you, this. This room is disgusting. You're 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 recording on a freaking dinner table or a, a a folding table. Hold on. A microphone from the windscreen. Three. It takes up a whole lot less space on my computer. Oh, and what's that? This is unfortunate. This is. This is a dinner. This is like a folding tray table. That's the word. Tray table. This is two. There's two. There's two tray tables. This is very. This is. This has gone from sad to dangerous. You got your keyboard and monitor and everything on two tray tables. A much cleaner floor. Four. This thing only costs twenty dollars. It was thirty-five dollars less than the freaking five five. And this was probably the best thing that I've that I've ever gotten. So I got this microphone from a Goodwill store about four, no, ten years ago. Jesus Christ! I forget how old I'm getting now. Far this year. And finally, number five. It just looks a whole lot cooler. Getting a pink mic back in 2022 was one of the worst decisions of my entire goddamn life. And I had bought that microphone in my prime. Was the worst mistake of my life. Or should I say one of them? Hey Nova Kadri, now known as the Nova Universe, signing off. It's work for time! Power Star! Lock in! Ninja Switch! Oh crap. Join Lock. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. So let's go back. Fuck off! Oh, boy. So, my thoughts... So, Nova, 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 Nova. You have potential, buddy. You have the potential to do great things. Well, you did. 
you kind of shot yourself in the foot with the whole talking to kids thing. I don't think I don't think you know if I was your PR manager, we could skirt past that. You'd have to own up to that and just accept. I don't even know what the what you could do. Like honestly, dude, that's a. I don't know. I feel like you could have you could have went somewhere before all that came out, but. Anyway, if you like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, uh, hit up, what's this, K, K777NY's channel, they have a lot of different compilations, they have, oh god, Daniel Larson up there, uh, I think I saw Tofia Chu, a whole bunch of stuff, and I honestly think that Nova and, like, these people are, I get, I get a lot of my friends ask me, like, how can you like this stuff, or, like, how do you think this stuff is like entertaining? Like it's like going to the zoo or like watching a nature documentary. You're just like befuddled on how these creatures walk amongst you, you know, and can skirt the legal system in such crazy ways, you know? Like it's very entertaining to watch. And also it's kind of like being a part of something that is happening around you on the same planet. Like the whole Daniel Larson thing, like him going to the mental facility now, not being seen competent enough to stand trial, or until he is, which means he will never be. Um, but it's kind of like you hate to see them go away, but but you love you, you want them to go away, but you hate to see them go away because you love the content that they make. Like Daniel Larson is an absolute menace. Like he's a nut. He's a nutcase. Like this guy. Like let me just just Hello a quick. Everyone. I'll just go. This is I'll just go to like a random clip and just see what he's doing. Use anybody in this building whenever I feel like it. I don't want the issues, and it's a red flag when all of Golden knows about who you are, Daniel. It's because I'm fucking famous. I don't. It's because he's famous. That's why he is kicked out of every store in, like, I think Boulder, Colorado. Like every town, like the all the stores have him on those. You cannot come in here. But. That's it for this video. So if you like the video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, if you like these kind of contents I'm doing, let me know. I can make more of them. It's very uh, fun to do these, honestly, because I'm very opinionated about these guys, you know. And these, I've been looking at these guys for a while now, and um, none of my friends find them interesting. They just think that they're crazy or whatever. So if I can find people that like to, that I want to discuss this kind of things with, that'd be pretty cool. But I've signed off what twice now. So it's the third time like comment, subscribe, all that stuff. See you later guys. Bye.